Hello everyone and welcome to the 11th tutorial in our survival game series done by Brackies. I am the CEO of Brackies and I just got back from skiing, ready to do some more tutorial stuff. Today we are taking a look at how to switch weapons in Unity, so we are going to be scripting that. Um, so as always, I have already opened up Unity. And um, so I have opened up Unity. And uh, first of all, I just want to get rid of the ground plane um, object in our scene because that we won't need anymore now that we have such a fine terrain. All right. So um, basically what we're going to do, uh, we are going to um, open up the player prefab and under the main camera, we'll find our melee empty game object which is start, uh, currently storing our mace and our sword objects. So um, basically you want to put both weapons in there, the weapons that you're going to be switching between. And um, the one that you want the characters to start out with, that one you're just going to leave enabled, the other one you're just going to disable. And make sure that they are correctly positioned and lined up with the camera so everything looks good. All right, so um, I'll go ahead and disable the sword again. So I want the character to start out, out with having the mace equipped. And uh, for now, um, maybe we'll take a look at how to make animations that switch between the two. Uh, maybe not, uh, depends on how much time this is gonna take. But um, okay, let's go ahead and create the script. So you go ahead and select the melee empty game object, you click Add component, new script, and of course we're going to program this in JavaScript. And uh, by the way, a lot of people have asked me why we are starting out with the JavaScript. Um, well, basically, I think that JavaScript is a little easier to learn. Uh, in the future, we might do some C sharp programming. Um, in general, C sharp is a lot broader of a programming language, but for beginners, JavaScript can do exactly what you need. Um, so we'll just call this weapon switching. You know what, we'll decapitalize that. So weapon switching, create an ad and open it up in mono develop. Perfect. Okay, so we can go ahead and delete the function start. We won't be needing that. And let's start out by creating some variables. Okay, so um, it has been some a little while bef uh, since we created our last script, so it might be a little rusty. But um, as always, we'll start with the variables and we'll call the first one uh, var and then weapon one. So I'll capitalize that and still a one a colon, and then it's going to be a type game object. The next one is we are going to do the exact same. We are called this just going to call this weapon two. And again, a type game object. All right, so this is the variables that are going to store our two weapons. So in our function update, we want to uh, call the weapon switching when something happens. More specifically, we want to check if we get an input. And you can make this whatever you want. I'm just uh, going to say if input dot get key down. And then I'm going to do a key code. So key code dot capital Q. So we're going to switch weapons using the Q key. Then we want something to happen. So we want to swap our weapons. And you, you could exclude them, but I'm just going to go ahead and make the brackets also. After all, that is our name. So it should look like this. And uh, whenever you see a piece of code, just do this. So a name and then just the um, uh, the the end the ending um, signs. Uh, it means you're calling a, a function. So um, parentheses 
start and end and then a semicolon means function. So um, we are going to go ahead and have to create the function. So we'll make a new function, call it swap weapons. And it's a good idea to always create functions with capital letters all the way through. So um, swap weapons and uh, the parentheses, going to leave them empty. And then we're going to start the bracket. And of course, end it also. Whoops, say that typo. There you go. And inside of here, we're going to check if the weapon one dot active is equal to true. And if that, do this. All right, so um, what we have here is we have a piece of code storing two game objects, the two weapons. We have a function update checking if the player presses the Q key code, the Q key on his keyboard. And if he does, then just call this function swap weapons once. This function will check if the weapon one is active. So the first ve weapon is currently equipped. And if it is, we're going to switch to the second weapon. So the code is going to look like this. Weapon one dot set active recursively. It's going to be false in parentheses, semicolon and weapon two dot set active recursively is going to be true in parentheses. So let's simply um, make sure that if the weapon one is currently equipped, then it will equip weapon two instead and disable the weapon one. Now we want to make the opposite case. So we uh, go down under the closing bracket of the if statement and type else. So else is called if, uh, if the if statement doesn't meet its requirements. So if the weapon sir one isn't active, then it's going to do whatever we, we put inside of the else statement. So else weapon one dot set active recursively is going to be true. And yes, you guessed it. Weapon two dot set active recursively is this time going to be false. And this way we can simply switch between our two weapons. So let's go ahead and try it out. Open Unity back up. You can see that the two variables need to have uh, something stored in them. So we can drag our mace under the weapon one and our sword under the weapon two. I go ahead and maximize and hit play. And when I click the Q, it switches to my sword. And when I click it again, it switches back to my mace. And this way, um, this is pretty much the simplest way to do weapon switching. I guess um, if I have to uh, do the animations also, this would take too long. So I'll go ahead and cut off the video right here. But I, heard, I hope you learned something from it. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.